Hey everybody, Jake here, and um, I didn't actually intend on making this video, but this came in the mail, so I'm going to do an unboxing because you guys loved my M2 Moon Man unboxing. Like, view-wise, people loved it. I don't know if you actually liked it or not, I'm not sure. Just let me know. Um, or actually don't if you didn't like it because it's going to hurt my soul. But um, let's go ahead and unbox this. This is the Wankai Mini. So, this is very interesting, really, really pretty pocket pen. Um, it's been blowing up lately, and I was like, well, you know what, I'll, I'll go and check one out. Um, I've seen some other channels review it. Um, I haven't watched their reviews, but I, I've seen, like, videos posted and stuff like that. And it's been, you know, fairly popular in the fountain pen community. And when things are popular, I find that they're generally popular for a good reason. So, let's go ahead and take a look. So, same kind of plastic box as we had on the uh, Moon Man M2. It's the same size as well, I believe. No, it is actually a little th a little taller and just a tad bit longer. Uh, about the same width. So it's actually larger, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. So you can see it came with some ink cartridges, the pen, and the um, eyedropper. This almost looks like foam, but it's not. It's the same kind of like uh, fairly decent material that um, we had before. Let's take a look at all the goodies and we'll get to the pen. First thing up, these black ink cartridges. This is not what I'm going to be using in the pen because I'm not a loser. But, um, yeah, so these, I'm guessing they open like this. Yeah, so you just get six uh, standard international ink cartridges. I can see this being extremely useful for carrying like some ink cartridges in a bag with you. Um, it doesn't seem to be the most durable thing, but it's an option, and it comes with it for free, so you know I'm not going to complain. Um, the eyedropper, if I could, yeah, there we go. Um, it appears to be about the same as the Moon Man eyedropper. Um, it's glass, so that's nice. Fairly well built. Um, the rubber feels a little different. I may be remembering it. Probably, probably remembering it wrong. But um, that's about it. This feels, you know, pretty pretty good. About the same like the uh, other one did. Very nice packaging. They, they do a, a great job with their packaging uh, for such a cheap pen, to be honest. Okay. Um, I'm about to get the pen, but real quick, I was blown away by the build quality of the M2, so I'm I have some some high expectations for this. So I'll I'll, I'll say that, and we'll uh, we'll take a look here. So it's small. It's in some plastic packaging. Let's see. Oh, that feels wonderful. Oh wow, the edges are rounded and everything. The threads on the back are a little sharp, but you probably won't be touching those. And this material is gorgeous. I do see, and this is going to drive me absolutely insane, I do see a few black spots right up here. Um, kind of imperfections, I'm guessing. But overall, this feels wonderful. This just, this feels great. It feels durable. It feels very thick. Um, very well built, just like the uh, other one did. Even even though it's not seamless here, right in the middle, there's there's a noticeable gap. Neither one of the ends are sharp. I imagine they did that just to round them off. And it looks like that as well. Let's go ahead and see. So um, I don't think I'll be using this pen unposted. I, I apologize. But let's see um, how it posts. So it, it does have a little bit of a rock issue, but it's not terrible at all. Um, overall, it I'm not in love with this. This maybe It's probably because I, I'll grip the pen. If you grip it down here, I'm sure you wouldn't mind. But I grip my pens about like this, and my thumb uh, hits this. The length isn't a huge issue. The step up is not great so far. I'll probably get used to it, and we'll see. But um, yeah, it's feeling pretty good. We have a uh, a nice gold contrasting nib, so that's wonderful. The M2 uh, came with some extra nibs, so I'm kind of disappointed about that. But you know, that's not terrible. Um, let's see, same rubber O-ring, so I don't think you'll need any silicone grease, though I do recommend it always. Yeah, very thin, very nice threads. Um, you can fit a standard international cartridge in there. This was much too short to fit a converter. Um, but that's about it. This this feels pretty well made. Um, I'll go ahead and get this inked up. You know what? You know, we, we did the last one on camera, didn't we? Why not? Why not? We're, we're, just, we're just going to do this one, too. Okay. We're just going to do this one, too. So this is Diamine Soft Mint. I've got to review it anyway. It's gorgeous. It's kind of, sort of, not really all that close to this, but it's going to look great. It's going to look fantastic, I promise. Um, it's, it's a lighter color, so I think it'll look good. So let's go ahead and get some silicone grease from 
a Twisby box. Move this out of the way. We're going to grease these threads and we are going to get some ink. So, take your silicone grease and apply it to just the plastic threads. I have a little on the end here just from the last time I used it. And you really don't need a lot. I'm really just using a drop that I had um, on top of the little vial that was kind of sitting on top there from the last time I did it. So that'll work just fine. What I'll do is I'll just kind of sit this right here so the silicone grease isn't touching anything. It's kind of sitting on a ledge, you can't see that, but it's safe. Um, let me go ahead and get out the eyedropper here and we will get some of this ink. This is a very, very pretty ink. I actually got it to match my Pilot, um, oh gosh, oh gosh, what is it? Pilot Quattro. How did I forget the name of that? Let's go ahead and get some ink here. I am curious to know about how much this body can hold. It looks like it can hold quite a bit. So, we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, definitely. Get just a tiny bit more. I don't want to overfill it. There we go. But you don't want to underfill it either. Um, actually, I think this can hold just a touch more. Yeah, there we go. Set that off to the side, and we will get our pen section and attach it here. Well, <laughs> I've got to say, I think it filled up to about max capacity there. Um, yeah, that's gorgeous. That makes the, those lines stand out so, so well. Um, it's going to take a moment for it to get to the point where I can write with it. So I'm not going to worry about um, writing with it in this sample unless it just starts, you know, pouring out. But this is, this is nice. I'm, I'm liking this. Um, it's super, super compact. I actually have my little put in my pocket. Like, this is very short notice. I'm about to have to leave <laughs> to go to a different state. But just to compare, it is shorter than little put. It is substantially wider and substantially thicker, and you're probably going to notice it in the pocket a lot more. But it's, it's little. Um, let's actually compare it also, um, I still think it's going to be quite a bit shorter than Lilliput when posted. But I will say, because it's larger uh, around, this section feels a bit more usable. So yeah, it is a t it's just a tiny bit shorter than Lilliput. It's not, not by much at all. Let me set them down on the table here so you can kind of see. Yeah, so very, very close. But it's altogether a different pen. It's... It's kind of like having the length of the little put with the width and mm, eyedropper capabilities of the um, sport, the Quebec sport. So it's it's nice. I'm I'm liking it. Let me see if I, I don't think there's any ink coming yet. No, not yet. That's okay. Um, I'll definitely I'm gonna be carrying this with me. Um, I was actually looking for another pen to bring with me, uh, just to mess around with. So this will be great. I can carry this for review. Um, this is this is impressive. I, I I haven't seen anything negative really from Moon Man, so their their pens so far are very intriguing. I may check out some more in the future, but this is this is good. This kind of keeps up what I sort of expected from the M2 because the M2 is a great pen. It's fantastic. This is looking pretty good too. So um, I'll have a review of this out before too terribly long probably. Uh, two weeks or so out from this just to give me plenty of time to use it pocket pens are a little uh, hit and miss for me so I'm curious to see you know how it performs and that can we just appreciate the depth of these swirls for a minute like they look awesome it just it just looks fantastic on this pen especially back here with the where the ink looks almost black Ugh, that just that just looks great but um thanks for tuning in everybody that was the unboxing of the Moonman Wonkai. 
I think that's how it's pronounced. I could be wrong. I apologize. I don't speak Chinese. But thank you for tuning in. Don't feel uh, feel free to check out my other stuff. And I'm really excited to the review of this pen coming up. Let me know if there's anything in particular you would like for me to compare it to, um, as far as carry wise goes. And I'll uh, be sure to compare and contrast at least a little bit, and maybe the sport as well. Thanks, guys. Um, don't forget to check out my other videos. Subscribe all that junk. And uh, have a good day. See ya.